guys and welcome to our channel where our videos are purposely made to preach, educate and evangelize on the true gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ through sound pastors and preachers. We live in a world where many preachers have taken God's word for granted and therefore contaminated the truth. At Christ's expense, we do it right and bring you the gospel you want to hear. I welcome you to yet another video on our channel. I also want to take this opportunity to thank you so, so much for your continued support. Thank you for always clicking to our videos. If it is your first time to come across this channel, kindly consider subscribing. Press the notification bell so you'll be notified immediately we have a new video on our channel. Remember to share the videos, give us a thumbs up, and invite your friends on this platform so we can grow together. In today's video, we have two versions of explanation as to why God created man. The two preachers are in agreement that God created man for a purpose, and that purpose is what I want us to talk about today. According to Pastor Gino Jennings, God created man for his glory, that through man, God will manifest his power. God knew man even before he created him. He knew he will fall, and through the fall of man, we shall have Jesus Christ, saving the man. Contextually, we would say Jesus on earth was God incarnated to man so he would manifest himself to the man in a way that it would be easier for the man to understand God. All the things Jesus did on earth was to prove God's power to mankind. In that way, we would know there is man and there is God. It was only by the creation of man that the existence of God was to be made manifest. Let's listen to Pastor Gino Jennings explain this as we continue with the video. If Jesus was ordained to come mm -hmm. as a sacrifice mm -hmm. to redeem man back to God, mm -hmm. why ordain the arrival of a sacrifice to reconcile man if man never failed? That's right. That's right. So if the Son of God was ordained to come, then it was ordained for man to fail. That's right. Because for man to rise up, right. he first go must go down. That's, That's right. true. Yes, sir. You understand? That's right. Listening to Pastor Gino Jennings, you will understand that God had a master plan of everything he created and especially man. He had to create a weaker version of himself and that's the man so he would manifest his existence. Now let's listen to the version of Rick Warren and compare both to see if we would come to a consensus about the existence of man. The two most important days in your life are number one, the day you're born and number two, the day you figure out why. Why you were born. God has never created anything without a purpose. Every plant has a purpose. Every star has a purpose. Every animal has a purpose. God does not create things without a reason, without a purpose. And if your heart is beating and you're breathing, there's a purpose for your life. I love how Rick Warren starts his explanation that the most important days of a man's life is the day he was born and the day he realizes why he was born. This tells us how important this video is for all of us because many people don't understand why they exist in the first place. Rick Warren repeats the words of Pastor Gino Jennings that God created a man for a purpose. Rick Warren goes further to tell us that live alone man God never created anything without a purpose. The stars, the moon, the animals, and all the God's creation has a purpose. I concur with him on that because what we might think is of no help to man is very important because God wouldn't have created it if at all he knew it wouldn't benefit a man. Rick Warren points out very clearly that the fact that you are, you are alive and breathing means God has a purpose for that. If we refer to Pastor Gino Jennings' explanation, you will realize that a man finds his purpose through Christ. And in Ephesians 1, 11 and 12, you will get exactly that. Let's read it together to get the point. And it says, In him also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to 
to the counsel of his will, that we who first trusted in Christ should be to the praise of his glory. I also want us to read the Bible in the book of Colossians chapter 1 and verse 16. And it says, For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. Reading the Bible makes you understand God's intention for creating a man. One day your heart is going to stop. That's going to be the end of your body, but it's not going to be the end of you. That's going to be the end of your time on earth, but it's not going to be the end of you. God has long-range plans for your life, and I'm not exaggerating, because he wants you to live forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So you're going to actually spend more time on the other side of death than you do on this time side. On this side, you get 80 years at the most, maybe 100. That's it. That's not really a whole lot of time. After you die, you move into eternity and you're going to spend trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions, and trillions to onto infinity and beyond uh, for the rest of your life. A love point made by Rick Warren that a man was created to last forever. This means when we die, it's only the body that dies, but your soul lasts forever. The question I ask myself is if after death, you still continue serving your purpose. I know you have the same question. We will do a video to respond to this question. For now, let's know your purpose while still alive. The life you live today and the purpose you serve while alive is the preparation of the next life. God puts us on this planet to learn and once the learning process is over, then we cross over to the next life. At this point, I would say, learn the best way, serve the best way you can, because you don't know what awaits you in the next life. I love the words of Rick Warren that the life we live now is a kindergarten of what's ahead of us. You better be prepared. Conclusion, we have all learned that your life should serve the purpose God intended for you while creating us. We now know that no matter where you stand in life today, God still needs you to serve your purpose. Pray and read the word so you'll get the revelation of your purpose. There is no single life without a purpose. We have also learned that we were created to live forever and that it's only our bodies that die but our soul serves the purpose forever this video has blessed my soul and i hope it has done the same to you my viewer thank you so much for giving me company up to this far thank you for always passing by and clicking to watch our videos we don't take it for granted we dearly appreciate you guys if you haven't subscribed kindly consider subscribing press the notification bell so you'll be notified once we upload a new video Please don't forget to give our videos a thumbs up. I love you dearly. Bye bye for now and see you on the next one. Shalom.